How's it going guys? Forza Motorsport Update 11 has just been announced. We know the new track, we know the new cars and everything that's coming within this update. Let me talk you through the entirety of Update 11 for Forza Motorsport. A bit of an introduction, Forza Motorsport introduces Road Atlanta and Multi-Class Racing. Update 11 highlights incredibly powerful racing cars from a wide range of categories and classes alongside the return of World Class Road Racing Facility Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta. So that's kind of the theme for this update. Multi-class racing at Road Atlanta. They do actually tease the two new cars in this update in this first introduction paragraph, which I will read. Um, compete for one of our other two reward cars created specifically to blur the line between road and race car, the 2018 Aston Martin number no. 97 AMR Vantage GTE and the 1998 Nissan number no. 23 Pennzoil Nismo Skyline GTR. Those are the two and only two new cars in this update for Forza Motorsport. If you've only clicked on this video to learn what the new cars are, that's what they are. Let's get into the details about the spotlight cars, the VIP cars, where you can get the new cars and everything else. So we have a new race tour. In career mode, dive into the world of road cars and their race car variants. Experience the Chevrolet Corvette, the Ferrari 458 Italia, the Lamborghini Huracan and the Porsche 911 GT3 in both road rare variant and race car variant. The Series 1 is the Chevrolet Corvette and to start with you get to drive the 2015 Chevrolet Corvette Z06 and then the 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Z7R which is kind of the racing spec version of the Chevrolet Corvette. And then Series 2 we're in the 458 Italia. For the road version you're in the 2009 Ferrari 458 Italia and then for the race version the 12 the 2011 Ferrari Rizzi Competition F458 Italia GTC. You can see the concept that it's following now. Same again for the Lamborghini Huracan. We've got the standard Lamborghini Huracan and then we've got the Squadra Corse Huracan Super Trofeo. And then finally, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS road and race version. So that's what the new race tour is all about. And the reward for that race tour is the Aston Martin AMR Vantage GTE that we just spoke about a few minutes ago as one of the two new cars. So that is cool stuff. Now, obviously, we have the new track. Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta has attracted some of the best American race series. Now back in Forza Motorsport, the track's elevation changes and a wide variety of corner types make it ideal for testing the extreme performances of your favourite project car. We can see that it says we're going to get the 2.54 mile full circuit with 12 turns and the 1.77 mile club circuit with 9 turns. We're getting both of these variants in the game as two track layouts. You can challenge both track layouts in time attack and use your favourite tuned cars to rise in the global leaderboards or race them in career and featured multiplayer blah 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 and they do note at the bottom that the next track is going to come on update 13 which is october rather than october uh, September. So they seem to be following suit where we're getting a new track every two updates rather than every update. I can understand that it might be a bit much to ask for if we're getting a new track in every update. So update 12 is no track, update 13 another new track is coming. Spotlight cars and VIP discounts, let's take a look at them. So here are the list of all the spotlight cars and it is all of the ones that are raced within the race tour that we just spoke about. So both the Corvettes, both the Ferraris, both the Lamborghinis and both the Porsches road and and race cars these are all discounted for this month you can see the dates there if you want to nab any of them none of the spotlight cars are new only the two reward cars i mentioned at the beginning of the video vip cars are also a thing for this update as well we can see the discount that you get when you get it what cars they are and you can see they've tried to match the road to race theme here for the vip cars so there you go there's a discount on them if you're a vip member kind of a feature for this update is there's been some livery editor changes now i know this is quite important for quite a lot of people apparently the liver edit livery editor does need quite a lot of sort of tinkering with and refinements this update has been a first step to that so here are some of the bugs and fixes to the livery editor in this update yes it's only four but i've heard that these four issues are quite annoying for a particular group of people so if you're into the livery editor and you've been waiting for this there you go update 11 sorts what you can see on screen of course we have a new open tour once you've mastered the latest featured tour check out the open class tour conti to continue the story of the epic road to race cars again they're following the same road to race theme the open class tour features six series each with three races that range from d-class to r-class 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 
Once you've completed all six of them, you will receive the 1998 Nismo Skyline GTR. That is the second new car of this month as a reward for the open tour. That is where you get it. Featured multiplayer. Compete in multi-class endurance races. Select either a road version or a race version of a car and battle it out on the track in the Road to Race series. Featuring a different car pairing each week, you can look at it under the new featured tab. The Endurance series is also returning to featured multiplayer, this time featuring multiple race car divisions represented on the track simultaneously. New multi-class divisions will be rotated in the Endurance series each week, opening new strategic possibilities for every race you compete in. And as we spoke about in the previous update video, Update 10, the Forza GT4 spec series is now also available in Road to Race series. This series will rotate with the Forza GT2 and the Forza GT3 spec series. There you go. We've got some more featured multiplayer information here if you want to know what's happening and when. Finally, we've got all the featured rivals. Now, there's an awful lot of different stuff over featured rivals as before. We've got featured rivals for the four spotlight cars. We've got the Race Mobile One Pro driver with Jamie Chadwick sort of challenge. We've got the Logitech G challenge. We've got the E Racing Association Alpha Cup, and then a VIP rivals and the featured track rivals. We can see more information about the challenge ones here such as the e-racing association alpha cup you need to set your fastest time at spa in the chevrolet corvette z06 for a chance to win 500 dollars in cash prizes you can see all of the information there the fastest 20 registered participants in the will race in the main event with the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Racing C8R. We've also got the Logitech McLaren challenge as well into its second stage this month. Aim for your best time at Laguna Seca using the McLaren 720S Coupe for your chance to win a trip to McLaren Technology Center. And then lastly, we've got the Mobile One challenge as well, which is a legends versus leaderboard event style where we're going to race against a Jamie Chadwick. That's in the 1970 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. You try to set a faster lap than one minute 54 on Maple Valley, set a lap to receive 50,000 in-game credits. So seeing as the reward isn't that extreme for that one, I, I, I suspect that that might not be too hard of a challenge. So get yourself in the Chevrolet Corvette, get yourself over to Maple Valley, get this featured rivals done for a quick, nice 50,000 credits. There are some other bugs and fixes and changes in this update as well. There will be a lot more fixes, but we don't know until the full change log. What we do have is official support for Logitech TrueForce has been added and then a few other fixes as you can see there. So that is pretty much the full update 11 for Forza Motorsport. It comes out today, so whenever you're watching this, you will be able to get the update and the, the, the events and the things roll over on Wednesday the 14th. Leave a like if you enjoyed everyone. That is update 11 for Forza Motorsport and I'll see you all later.